There's a great new feature built into Video Studio 2019, which you can use with your 360 footage. Tiny Planet and Rabbit Hole Effects. You'll need footage that has been captured using a 360 camera for this, and I've got such a clip on my timeline here. Then just right-click the clip, select 360 video, 360 video conversion, and then either equirectangular or dual fisheye to spherical panorama. If your 360 clip is in single fisheye format, you'll first need to convert it to equirectangular using single fisheye to equirectangular. Export the clip and then drag that export into a new project in Video Studio. My clip is already equirectangular, so I'll click equirectangular to spherical panorama. So now we can see our original 360 video on the left and the panorama on the right. Tiny Planet is the default option selected, and if we scrub through the timeline, we can see that it appears as though the snowboarder is traveling across a very small and very snowy globe. Let's decrease the zoom level from the default of 80 to get a better impression of this new planet for our snowboarder, and so less of the features get clipped off of the edge of the frame. Looks great. Now let's see what the rabbit hole setting looks like. This is essentially the reverse, where the frame wraps around our snowboarder as if he is boarding through a never-ending snow tunnel, dodging trees as they whiz past him. There is an issue though, because the tunnel straightens out and progresses back to Tiny Planet. Why is this? Just remember that if you change to Rabbit Hole at the start of the clip, you're only changing the header keyframe. The ending keyframe is still set to Tiny Planet, so you just need to skip to the next keyframe and change this one to Rabbit Hole as well. Or you can always make sure the keyframe you've just changed is highlighted so that it turns red, then right click it and select either copy and paste to all, or copy and paste to all keyframes to the right of the current keyframe. Now our snowboarder will be in the rabbit hole for the duration of the clip. Which brings us to another great feature of Spherical Panorama, which is that all of the options can be keyframed. So imagine that we want to slowly zoom out as the clip progresses. First, I'll reset any changes I've made. Then let's jump midway through the clip and I'll set zoom to 34. I'll put rotation to one complete go round as well, at 360 degrees. Video Studio creates two keyframes, the second of which has our new values. Now just drag these keyframes to where you want them. I'll drag the second one out towards the end of the clip and the first back towards the start. We can even toggle Tiny Planet to Rabbit Hole within the keyframing, like we accidentally did earlier. At our second keyframe, let's click Rabbit Hole, and as soon as this keyframe is approached, the effect will start to switch from Tiny Planet to Rabbit Hole. Once you're done, click OK to return to the timeline. You'll notice that the project's dimensions are now square, as Spherical Panorama is a square video and you can export your video in the usual way by using the Share tab. Happy editing.